Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to put clean and consistent chamfers on your bridge pin holes without using a drill press using this little guy right here. The Stumac Bridge Pin Hole Chamfer Tool. Essentially, it's just a countersink with a depth stop, but instead of being attached to a drill bit, it's attached to a 3 16 inch steel pilot. Assembly is very simple. You're gonna start with the cutter. You're gonna attach it to the steel pilot, and you're gonna fasten it with the set screws provided just make sure those set screws land on those flats that are machined into the side of the steel pilot. From there, you attach the depth stop, again, using the set screws provided. Make sure the Delrin lining, that's the black plastic lining, is facing towards the bottom there. And there you go, we're ready to try it out. Now, to work with the bridge, I like to use double-sided tape on a work board so I can hold it securely, but I leave just enough untaped on the outer wings of the bridge so I can get something under there to remove it. Because remember, you got to remove it without damaging it. So now you have something to hold your bridge in place. You can clamp that work board if you need to. I make my bridges with 3 16 holes, and as you can see here, that steel pilot for the chamfer cutter actually fits right in there. I mean, it's a nice snug fit, so you know it's going to hold the center of that hole perfectly. So now we have it chucked up in a drill, and we're going to cut a few chamfers. All you need to do is hold the drill straight up and down and let the tool do the cutting. Don't bear down on it. You might damage the top of the bridge more than you can sand out. It cuts very smoothly and each chamfer is gonna be a consistent depth and consistent diameter. I have another countersink type of tool that I that's actually not made for bridges, but I wanted to try it out anyway, just to see what would happen since this tool has a lot of cutters on it. It's actually made for tuner hole bushings. You're supposed to run that in the tuner hole before you install the bushing so it doesn't chip out the like a lacquer finish, for instance. Now, I don't recommend that you do this. This is just for testing purposes. I mean, you're not even supposed to use this thing in a drill. It's supposed to be used by hand. But I wanted to see what would happen in an ebony bridge. Now, after cutting a couple of chamfers into this bridge using this tool that, again, is not made for this, it does not do a good job. It leaves a lot of ripples in the chamfered area of the hole. I didn't get a very good shot of it, but uh, it is not a clean chamfer. So from there, I wanted to grab the chamfer tool chuck it back up in the drill and see how well it would clean up those holes. You can see a little bit of a rub mark on the surface there that I cleaned up real easily, you know, just with some 4 aught steel wool. I probably worked on it for two or three minutes and just edited it down so you didn't have to watch all of it. And then just cleaned it off with a vacuum. And the finished product is a good looking set of bridge pin holes. I have one more tip for working with this tool, but before I get to that, if you felt this video was helpful, please hit the like button and hit me up in the comments with any questions or what you're working on. And if you wanna catch future videos, hit the subscribe button as well. So my final tip for working with this tool is that you need to clean out the flutes. That's the hollow space between the cutters. It's real easy to do. You could use about anything. I'm using the end of a scratch all here just because I didn't want to remove the depth stop. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.